hello and welcome back in today's lesson we shall be looking at how to calculate the median for ungrouped and grouped data and of course you know what the median means the median is the data in the middle now here's an example where i have an even data set if i count these numbers i'm going to have eight one two three four five six seven eight and eight is even so we're going to end up with two numbers in the middle okay so let's 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 um let's not forget that we have to start off by putting them or arranging them in ascending order so we've got one here so one and then i'll cross that off and two 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 i'll cross them off and three cross that off four five and seven cross them off i can then start to cross them off on the edges to find which number is in the middle one two one two one two and then i end up with two and three in the middle yeah so what i have to do now i end up with two and three in the middle so what I have to do now is to add them up and then divide by 2 to find the number that is bang on in the middle. So 2 add 3 divided by 2 would be equal to 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 2.5. So the median, the median is 2.5, okay? That would be the median. So let's say you have this frequency table right here and you wanted to work out the median of this frequency table. It's ungrouped, yeah? It's an ungrouped frequency table and you wanted to find out the median. The first thing that you want to work out is the total frequencies, okay? You want to work out the total frequencies. Let's call that N, yeah? N would be equal to, if you add these all up, you're going to have 34, yeah? And then... To work out the median, we have to use the formula n plus 1 over 2. Uh, that will be 34 plus 1 is 35 over 2, which is equal to 17.5. Now, now, the answer is not 17.5, yeah? But the median is the 17.5, 17.5. Um, data so you want to follow you want to follow your frequency table adding up as you go along until you get to the 17.5 data so have a look here so 4 plus 2 would be 6 and 6 plus 4 would be 8 10 and 10 plus 7 would be 17 and uh, 17 plus 4 would be 21 yeah so it's going to be it's going to be in here amongst one of those 15s there okay remember on your frequency on your frequency table what this represents is all of your data arranged in ascending order so it's not the frequency it's the data okay so what this means is you have 11 11 11 11 uh, four times then you have 12 12 two times then you have 13 13, 13, 13, four times, and so on. 14, 14, 14. So you have to find out which one of them is 17.5. So when you start counting up, let's do that so that we see it clearly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, but 17.5 then comes down to the next one which is 15 yeah so it's this data right here okay so that would be the the median of the data okay it looks like an even data set yes yeah, so that's why you're having that 14 and 15 problem it could have been um yeah so so yeah so it's the 15th one okay so for group data the median would be equal to um and of course you know what group data is it's data that you that has a range of um that has been put into a range of values okay so um maybe from for this one you they've used inequalities to explain that this is between zero and one two and three four and five six and seven and so on yeah the median then would be equal to uh we've used this formula right here and i'm going to tell you the meaning of all of the all of these um 
letters L plus W times N over 2 minus C all over F. Yeah, where L stands for, L stands for the lower limit of the median class. L stands for the lower limit of the median class. Um, F limit, uh, W stands for the class width of the median class, which is uh, the upper class minus uh, upper boundary minus lower boundary. And N stands for uh, the total frequencies, if you add them all up. Uh, C stands for the class, cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class, yeah? And um, F stands for the frequency of the median class. So let's let's have a look at how we can work this work out this example. So to solve this example here, the first thing that we have to work out is the cumulative frequency of uh, this data. Okay, all of the cumulative frequencies. So let me use. So we have to extend. We have to extend this uh, table. We have to add another column, an extra column, to take care of the cumulative frequencies. So let's call that CF, okay, for cumulative frequencies. Now, 7 add 0 would be 7. 7 add 7 would be 14. And 14 add 11 would be 25. And 25 add 15 would be 40 and 40 at 8 would be 48 and 48 48 at 16 would be 64 and 64 at 22 would be 86 okay and just to check that that is correct let's put all of those numbers into the calculator to see whether we get 86 on the frequencies. Um, 7 plus 7 plus 11 plus 15 plus 8 plus 16 plus 22 equals 86. So our cumulative frequencies are all right. Okay. So, and that's how you check that you've done your cumulative frequencies perfectly now the next thing that you need to do is to find the median class notice this time that i'm not talking about the median but i'm talking about the median class and the formula for working out the median class is um median class is n plus one over two yeah so um let me just put that in a little bubble thing so that you know now let's say that n is equal to 86 that would be um 86 plus 1 86 plus 1 is 87 over 2 which is equal to what 87 divided by 2 43 point five okay so now we got all the information that we need our median class is then going to be the 40 43.5 uh value okay the 43.5 data so we're going to come up to our cumulative frequencies it's not going to be in this one because this one is too little it's definitely going to be in that class right there okay so you're using that 43.5 and looking for it following down your cumulative frequencies you know it's going to be in this one yeah it's going to be in here because if when we counted we got 25 we got 40 here 41 42 43.5 would be inside of this class so it's between 8 and 10 so um, now we got the, the, the uh, median class. We can now put all of those information in. L, which is the lower limit of the median class, would be equal to 8. And F, which is the frequency of the median class, would be equal to 8. And W, which is the class width of the median class, would be W would be equal to uh, 10 minus 8, which is equal to two okay upper limits minus lower limits okay so w would be equal to two 
and then the cumulative frequency of the class preceding. So cumulative frequency of the class preceding C would be equal to 40. And then uh, the total frequencies N would be equal to 86. Now that we got all the information, we need to put this into our calculator, put this, it substitutes it into this formula now and then put it into our calculator. So substituting into the formula, the median, median would be equal to L is 8 plus W is 2 times N is um, 86 divided by 2 minus C is the cumulative frequency preceding, which is 40, all over F is 8. And if we put all that into our calculator, let me do that now for you, in front of you. Plus two times Uh, the answer to that problem would be 8.75. Yeah, 8.75. So the median is equal to 8.75. And that looks correct to me because 8.75 falls inside of the median class right there. Okay, so that's how we find the, the median for group data. That's where I'm going to end it for this lesson, guys. Um, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye.